and this is Prem Asim and welcome to Mongo tutorial. In this lecture we are going to learn about the projection in MongoDB. So you know that uh, we learned find like whatever collection name dot find. So this is first parameter, second parameter is projection. Projection means wherein you can define whatever useful columns or information you need instead of getting everything. So just to understand and relate it with MySQL stuff, we can do something like, let me show you real quick. So in MySQL, when you say select star from table name, where whatever condition, so this star, you can uh, pick your columns. Let's say uh, if, you are, if you want the name and if you want the rank, so you give the column name that selects uh, some column name from your table name where condition meets. Same thing we can write in Mongo by db dot collection dot this is our find. In find there are two parameter. One is parameter one which will be your search criteria which which is like filter. We can say parameter one is filter and you have to do comma and then you have to write the projection parameter 2 is projection means selected columns whatever columns you need so let's uh, go real quick on mongo shell and do some practical so i have a collection which is called as finds so it gives the results which is like cluttered it's not presentable it's hard to understand so what we need to do is we need the valuable information so i have the rank and the name and the rating and the class and the id blah blah and id looks really ugly because it's not something which we need or understand every time but it's for the internal purpose of mongo so if you uh, we have to pass the first parameter we can give any condition or cannot but the second parameter is projection if you leave it empty projection means whatever column names you need if you leave, leave it empty it will give the same results there would be no error however you can mention the column names if you won't mention anything by default everything shows up if you say let's say id you don't want to see it so you say it as false so it won't show you the id another thing for false in database is you know less typing you can just say it as zero so it won't show you however if you say it as one it would show you let me clear it for you so if you say it one it would show you but if you start using like one it would show you only that column and not the other columns here it shows like the other columns so let's say if you don't want id and you can say it like whatever you don't want you can make it as zero let's say if i say as class i don't need it rest all things would show up other thing is whatever you want to see you can just you know say it uh, as one and please remember that uh, it's sequential so if I say who was at rank one I want to see it I can type it as true or or I can give it number one it's the same thing I want to see the name I say it as true so this is like how uh, I see it like in a very proper way instead of uh, you know it's not messy it's like very clean that's what the projection if i want name first and then the rank that can be done just by changing the sequence of the columns so i say now rank and as i told you you can do it true or one it doesn't matter it would show you so this sequence has been changed so this is what projection is basically all about. I just want to show you one more thing before we finish is you can always filter it from here. So filter and projection will work, work uh, together. 
so let me filter it on the name and the name has to be let's say Prem Asim I search but no result came why because uh, this is case sensitive MongoDB is case sensitive so the result which is shown up here it's in kind of camel case so now it would show it shows with the projected results I can just say give me the name and it give so that's how uh, whenever you query you can use your second parameter in your search clause or your like find to get the meaningful results and get rid of too much of information uh, yeah so uh, if you have any comments or question get back to me on mail or leave your question as comment thanks for watching